Hello YouTube subscribers, today or tonight, whenever you're watching this, I am doing another Marvel Legend series review, um, on, uh, basically, on another Spider-Man villain figure, uh, be as I've been collecting is basically only, I know, how could I? The other Marvel heroes and villains are awesome and badass. But I'm only collecting Spider-Man figures, certain Spider-Man figures, and certain Spider-Man villains figures. But, and today's review that I'm doing on is uh, the Doc Ock a uh, character from Tobey Maguire, Sam Raimi, Spider-Man 2. Um, so, and I meant to keep the box for the review, but once I realized, I uh, threw away the box accidentally. But, um, other than that, let's just jump into the accessories since we don't have the box. <laughs> Here is all the accessories in all its glory. Get a kind of close up here. A more better close up. Whoop. Trying to fix the camera. Or better close up. There we go. Hopefully that's good. Good, good, good. Hopefully. Um, but here is all the accessories. That we get with the figure, unless you want to count the tentacles on the figure. But, uh, the, the reason why I'm not is because they're already part, like, glued, connected to the figure itself. So, you can't really take them off and put them back on. So, um... Let's start with the hands, the figure's hands. Uh, you get two fisted hands. And then you get two kind of relaxed, but also kind of holding hands. And then, I, okay, I do have some negatives with this figure, and I really hate having negatives for this figure, because it's really badass. It is a really badass figure, uh, and it is really cool how Hasbro was able to do this Doc Ock figure. I mean, um, the, um... The box we got with this figure, I mean, it was with it, the the picture on the box, and it technically did say Spider-Man, Toby, Toby Maguire's Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2. It didn't say No Way Home, and, and honestly, if you look at the technical, the arm, the robotic arms, you don't see any red, you don't see any yellow. Which, in the movie, you could tell, even in the No Way Home, there was a bit of yellow on the arm, the robotic arms. Now, even after, uh, when Doc Ock stole, uh, parts of Tom Holland's spider armor, and it got the red on it, on the robotic arms, you could tell there was no, there's no red on the robotic arms, but... Which, hey, I'm not complaining that we didn't get extra robotic arms or and uh, robotic claws to represent No Way Home to uh, Spider-Man 2. But, if I'm being honest here, um, overall, this is a good figure. 
with good accessories. Let's try and get the get this. Focus. But my only negative, my only negative that I have with the figure overall is the robotic claws. All you are able to do with this, which you get, which you get two of these, uh, which the only good thing about these is about, oops, is about this one. Is basically it can close up like this, and then you can open it back up. You can't really. It, it can only move from the from the eye part to this part. You can't really bend it where it looks like this. It just stays straight out or straight in. There's no halfway, halfway out and then halfway in type look. It's just, yeah. That's my negative, but I can look past it as a negative. Uh, because overall, like I said over and over, it's a cool fucking figure to have in your collection. You also get these. And sadly, no, these do not move. At least these, these ones, which they could have. Because you also get these to help you have the figure uh, stand on the bottom arms. So, which I will show you guys right, well, yeah, right now. I'll show you guys right now. Uh, before I show you how uh, this works is, well, basically, there's this peg, there's that, and then you just easily... Without shake, without your hands shaking, just slide it in, and you can have the claws basically any way you like. The claws, all four of the claws can do 360. Um, and no, the arms does not stay like this. I just have it like this because honestly, I thought it'd be cool for uh, one of the claws hand look like it's handing him something and he's looking at uh his uh atridium or whatever uh i know i'm a bad spider-man fan uh tritium uh hit basically the little gold ball battery to help him to help him uh start his re re reution effector but basically the arms is on a wire. Um, they, all four of the arms is on a wire. So you could, like, have it any way you like. Technically. So. But, uh, so. Um. To kind of have him look like he's on his bottom two arms is basically make them all straight out obviously and then just peg them in and then which I mean I that which that was the first thing I tried when I got him out of the box stretch it out the arms Allow them to be stri uh, straight out for a while, and then I, uh, yeah, they don't, <laughs> they don't, um, that's, that's actually another part of my negatives, that's just another of my negatives, is that the arms do not actually 
easily hold them up very well. You physically have to hold them. Which is fine. I mean, it's a figure. It's a toy. For It was like only for $35, $32. Um, but, um, I mean, a kid's going to play with it. A kid's not going to at worry as much for the figure to kind of stand on its on his own I certainly didn't when I was young so um now the figure uh I noticed with the figure uh, that what's cool about this figure that yes the arms like always the arms can go 360 the, uh, right here, uh, both arms can stretch out that far, 360, like, 360, um, shit. Seriously, do not want to break this figure. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, both arms from three points can actually four points. Uh, can do three sixty. Uh, from basically the shoulder part to this part to basically. Uh, The elbow part. And then the wrist. 360. The uh, elbow can. Bend up to there. That much. Bend. Uh, down that much. Uh, the head can do 360. Can look down that much. Look up that much. I do like the jacket. They actually sculpt two of his jackets separately. And it's not like glued together. It's like separately. So you could have like that realistic emotion. Which it does kind of hinge the back. Uh, pulling his leg back. Like having him do like his back leg stretches. Uh... But, hey, it's fine. If if I could get a figure that at least helps to make the clothing look realistically and not cheap, then fine. That's cool. That's fine with me. Uh, but his leg can go out that far. And his... Basically, if you do... Uh, both of his legs can basically kick out that much far if you stretch out the coat. Uh, he, um, he got a double bended knee. Hang on. This is kind of hard with the tech of goals. I'm not used to with a figure with robotic arms. I thought it would not be this hard. Um, uh, Uh, okay. His leg can... He got a double knee joint. Can kick back that leg. Almost touching his ass. Stretch his leg, knee back out. Both of his thighs can do 360. You got ankle pivot in both leg, feet. Both feet can bend down that far. Bend been up that far, that far down, that far, that far down, <laughs> that far up, ankle pivot, didn't know if the camera got that, and another thing that I noticed that I truly felt like they did not have to do, but again, I feel like that could hinge, that could have, tru wait, I wonder, <gasps> oh wow. Um, 
which I kind of feel like, feel like that could have affected the hinge right here because I could tell there's like some hands joint right here but uh the uh the parts right here the the kind of like the stomach holding part that wraps around his stomach and holds the arms to his back on the side of the spine they can move i did not notice that that they made these able to move where i guess it's where it doesn't affect the hinging of like maybe right here i don't know the one thing i do feel like hasbro could have done is maybe try i don't know if they did try but maybe they could have tried sculpting the little light bulb on the back of his neck that he had in the movie. I don't know. Maybe they tried. I don't know. Maybe. I wasn't there. In the room with them. So. I don't do that. Uh, and as. Every single of my figure. And like with. All my. Marvel and NECA figure reviews. Doesn't matter what company it's from. Uh, well, it kind of does. So I, I know exactly what figure list to pull out and talk about. Uh, so I can actually get it right from that company and not get it wrong. Uh, so since this is a Marvel Legends series video... Here are some Marvel Legend figures I would like to see in the near future on my shelf. Um, from 1962 through uh, 2014, uh, the Spider-Man comic book series, uh, Peter Parker, the 1962 Peter Parker, boxers, the bo the Spider-Man boxer suit. Uh, the symbiote Spider-Man suit. Aunt May Parker. Mary Jane. Or MJ. If you, whatever you prefer. Ben Scarlet Spider. Jessica Drew Spider-Woman. Black Cat. Cassandra Webb. Madam Webb. Um, Spider-Ham. Julie, Julia Carpenter, Spider Woman, slash Spider, oh, slash Madam, Madam Web, N 2099 Spider Man, Kane, uh, Scarlet Spider, Maddie Franklin, Spider Woman, and, and, call, of Carzun. Forgive me for not saying that right, but and uh Carzurian Spider Woman, Spider Man Noir, Agent Venom, Anti Agent Venom, Miles Morales, Spider Man, Gwen Stacy, Spider Woman, Silk, um Uh, Spider Scroll, Chameleon, The Vulture, The Tinkerer, Doctor, uh, do, uh, Doctor Octopus, King the Conqueror, Craven the Hunter, Beetle, The Scorpion, uh, Molt, Molt. Tin Man, the Rhino, the Kingpin, the Prowler, the Rose, K Kangaroo, Hammerhead, Thanos, gr gr Grizzly, the Jackal, the Wall, 
And yes, Spider-Man did have a villain named The Wall. Taskmaster. Hydro Man, Hobgoblin, The Spot, Silver Sable, Tombstone, Venom, Silver Man, Man, Silver Man, Carnage, Riot, Mr. Negative, Agent Venom, from 1967 through uh, 1970, Spider-Man, the animated TV series, Peter Parker, and Spider-Man. Uh, from 1994 through 1998, Spider-Man, the animated series, the symbiote Spider-Man suit, the Carnage Spider-Man suit, Black Cat, Madam Web, Ben, Scarlet, Spider, uh, Mysterio, the Scorpion, Craven the Hunter, the Rano, the Shocker, the Hobgoblin, Chame Chameleon, Hydro Man, m uh, uh, S Silver, S Silver Main, uh, Hammerhead, the Vulture, Tombstone, Carnage, the Spot, actually, wait, did they do the car? Anyway, uh, The Spot, The Prowler, Silver Sable, Electro, 1977 through 1979, The Amazing Spider-Man Live Action TV Series, Peter Parker and Spider-Man Suit, 2002 through 2007, Spider-Man The Live Action Movies, Peter Parker, uh, Spider-Man Boxer Suit, Sim Symbiote Spider-Man Suit, Aunt May Parker, Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin. Not the Green Goblin that we got from No Way Home. I'm talking about like Tobey Maguire very first movie. Um, Green Goblin. Um, uh, Harry Osborn, Green Goblin, Sandman. Once again, Spider-Man 3, not No Way Home, Sandman. Uh, Venom, 2008 through 2009, The Spectacular Spider-Man animated series, Peter Parker and Peter Parker, Spider-Man suit, Symbiote Spider-Man suit, 2012 through 2017, Ultimate Spider-Man, the animated series, Peter Parker, Spider-Man suit, symbiote Spider-Man suit. <laughs> <sighs> it's a big one. 2012 to 2014, the amazing Spider-Man live action movies. Uh, Vigilante Spider-Man suit. Uh, the, the very, the second homemade after the Vigilante Spider-Man suit. Which is basically the Vigilante Spider-Man Suit 2, which it's like the, it, it's like close to Spider-Man Suit, but in his own way. Uh yeah, uh, yeah, so basically the suit after the Vigilante Suit. Uh, Aunt May Parker, Gwen Stacy, The Lizard, Electro... Uh, Harry Osborn, Green Goblin, The Rano, um, 2017, uh, yeah, 2017, Spider-Man Homecoming, Aunt May Parker, Human Zoltz, The Shocker, The Tinkerer, 2017 through 2020, uh, Spider-Man, uh, the animated series, homemade suit, Spider-Man suit, symbiote Spider-Man suit, anti-symbiote Spider-Man suit, from 2018 up to basically, I'm gonna say at this moment, right now, 24, because... Ven Venom's last movie is coming out 
this year, so, but I don't know who's going to be the villain, but I would like to see, since we did get a Tom Hardy's Venom figure, a Riot figure, and a Carnage figure from Venom's two movies. I think that would be very cool to get. You guys drop in the comments down below. What do you guys think about that list? <laughs> about the figure? About the Doc Ock figure yourself? Um, are you guys interested? Are you guys not interested? What do you guys would like me to review of a Spider-Man? Maybe villain or anti-villain figure? Character figure from Marvel Legends? Um... Um, what Spider-Man figure, or what Spider-Man figure would you like me to see review? So, uh, tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, depends how I feel, <laughs> um, after work. I'm gonna try and review the last stand Spider-Man figure. Um, so, uh... Because a few days after I found Doc Ock, well, actually, yeah, after a few days that I found Doc, saw Doc Ock in stores, and after a few days I got him, I saw the Last Stand Spider-Man figure, so I got him kind of right after I got Doc Ock, so, um, but anyway, drop a comment down below, anything Marvel Legends, anything Spider-Man, Hit that like button if you liked this video. Hit that dislike button if you didn't like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you if you haven't fought, subscribed yet. Subscribed yet? If you're like a newcomer dropping by one of my videos, hey, that's great. Like I said, please hit that subscribe button. But if not, and you're one of my old uh, subscribers already, welcome back. So, yeah, <laughs> peace.